Hey guys, I'm Dr. Phil Cohen, and I'm a veterinary neurologist over at Central Hospital for Veterinary Medicine. Today, I want to take a few minutes to chat with you about idiopathic epilepsy in dogs, something that we see a ton in our line of work. Now, one thing I always say about epilepsy treatment is there is no one-size-fits-all approach. Every dog is different, and every situation is different. We have a range of options to consider depending on the case, and one of those options is potassium bromide, which is found in KBROVET CA1, the first conditionally approved medication for idiopathic epilepsy in dogs. So how does this medication work? Essentially, it helps to control seizures by causing a generalized depressant effect on neuronal excitability and activity. This results in stabilizing the cell membrane, limiting the spread of epileptic discharges, which is essentially the goal of all anti-seizure medications. What I like about KBROVET specifically is that it only needs to be given once per day, which makes it super convenient for pet owners or when compliance can be a challenge. It also has a longer half-life. So if you happen to miss a dose, your pet still has some protection in place, but it is important that this medication be loaded at first so it can be more immediately effective. Another benefit I find with KBROVET is that it's not a scheduled medication like phenobarbital. That makes it easier to access, and it doesn't require the same level of regulation. Oh, and it's vanilla flavored, which definitely helps with palatability, making it easier when it comes to getting your dog to actually take it. Epilepsy treatment can be tricky, and in many occasions, there's a lot of trial and error since it is so important to try and balance seizure control with side effects. Remember, there is no one-size-fits-all when it comes to anti-epileptics. But if you're looking for a more convenient option for your patient, KBROVET might be a good choice to consider. And now for some important safety information. KBROVET CA1 is conditionally approved by FDA pending a full demonstration of effectiveness under application number 141-544. See prescribing information for complete details regarding adverse events, warnings, and precautions. It is a violation of federal law to use this product other than as directed in the labeling. Contraindicated in dogs with a history of hypersensitivity to bromide, not for use in cats, not for human use. Keep out of reach of children. Contact a physician in case of accidental ingestion by humans. The most commonly reported side effects were increased appetite and thirst, increased urination, weight gain, sedation, and ataxia. Reversible neurologic signs, sedation, ataxia, and weakness, were generally associated with adjunctive potassium bromide treatment or high serum bromide concentrations. Animals with kidney disease may be predisposed to bromide toxicities. The safe use of KBROVET CA1 has not been evaluated in dogs that are intended for breeding, are pregnant or lactating, or less than six months of age. Use caution when changing diets, administering chloride-containing fluids, and administering concurrent medications. Careful monitoring is important in dogs that have a condition that may cause difficulty maintaining electrolyte balance. Visit KBROVET.com for full prescribing information. For more neuro tips and updates, follow me on our hospital Instagram at Central Pet Vet or our Central Hospital for Vet Med Facebook page or check out our website, centralpetvet.com.